Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 17 on page 341. The vectors A and B span in two-dimensional space. For what values of m, is it true that m squared plus 2m minus 3 times vector A plus m squared plus m minus 6 times vector B equals to vector 0? Explain your reasoning. Step 1. If you read the first sentence, it says the vectors a and b spans in two-dimensional space. So from that given alone, this implies that both vectors a and b must be non-zero and it must be non-collinear. And again, that just means they cannot be parallel. So one possible image could be vector a pointing like that and vector b pointing in a different direction. So again, this is not the only way of drawing these two vectors. I'm just saying that there are two vectors that are not parallel. So now, when you look at the uh, statement, m squared plus 2m minus 3 times vector a plus m squared plus m minus 6 times vector b equals to vector 0. If you bring b to the right-hand side, you're implying that these are equal vectors. And by definition, equal vectors must have the same magnitude and the same direction. However, vectors a and b cannot be parallel. They cannot have the same direction. So this implies that the first part, m squared plus 2m minus 3, and also the second part, m squared plus m minus 6, they must equal to 0. So now you go back, start with the first trinomial, m squared plus 2m minus 3 equals to 0. Now let me separate this into two different columns. And likewise, if you look at m squared plus m minus 6 equals to 0. So it goes to solve for m, but more importantly, you have to find the overlap. You have to find the same m values that will make this statement true. So in the first column, if you factor this trinomial, this is simple factoring, m squared becomes m times m. And if you think about negative 3, you need two numbers that multiply to negative 3, but they add up to 2. So for example, negative 1 and positive 3. When you solve for m, m equals to 1 or negative 3. Likewise, if you look at the second column, m squared plus m minus 6, again, this is simple factoring m squared becomes m times m. You need two numbers that will multiply to negative 6, but they add up to 1. So for example, negative 2 and positive 3. And again, when you solve for m, m equals to 2 and negative 3. Now you have to remember, you have to find the m value that makes this statement true. So in both cases, notice that m equals to negative 3. So therefore, m equals to negative 3. To double check this, all you have to do is plug it back in. And if you plug in negative 3 in the first bracket, that will give you 0 times a plus. And if you plug in negative 3 in the second bracket, that will give you 0 times b. And 0 plus 0 will equal to the right-hand side. And that's how you do it. I hope this makes sense.